What's up everyone, Tony here, and today I'm going to show you the current best rupee farming method in Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, it looks like farming dragon horns is no longer possible like it was in Breath of the Wild, where you could get a horn, rest at a fire until morning, then get another horn, rinse and repeat until you have enough to sell and get thousands and thousands of rupees in under an hour. Dragons no longer have a set path based on what time it is, so resting at a fire does not change the position of the dragons any longer. They just continue along their set path no matter what time it is. If you get a dragon horn, there is now a 10 minute wait before you could shoot the dragon again to get another horn, and as far as we know right now, there's no way around that 10 minute timer. Instead, the current best rupee farming method involves a simple duplication glitch. Luckily, it's very easy to pull off, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. Full disclosure, I discovered this trick thanks to Linkus, who is an awesome Zelda speedrunner and made a video about the glitch that I've linked in the video description. Definitely give his video a watch and subscribe to his channel, he's great. What I'm gonna do today with my video is go into a little more detail. I'll not only explain the glitch, but also show you where you could find a diamond, the most valuable item in the game, and thus the best item to duplicate if you want as many rupees as possible, as quickly as possible. For good measure, I'm also gonna show you the location of a sapphire, which is not as valuable as a diamond, but hey, maybe you already sold your diamond or you aren't far enough into the game to get a diamond. In those cases, the sapphire acts as a decent alternative. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. First things first, where do we find a diamond? There are two methods I've stumbled upon during my time with the game so far, but I'm sure diamonds could be found elsewhere in parts of the game I simply haven't found yet. The first diamond I came across was on Dragonhead Island during the Secret of the Ring Ruins main story quest. The island will appear after you reach a certain point of the quest. Eventually, you'll stumble upon the Joku Yu Shrine, which simply contains a chest with a diamond inside. Only problem with this diamond is it appears fairly deep into the game's main quest. If you haven't reached that point in the game, there is another way to get a diamond earlier, but it's also quite expensive. Finish the Fire Temple and save Goron City. At that point, a Goron will sell you a diamond for an eye-watering 1,000 rupees. Sell whatever you can to afford this diamond because after we learn how to dupe diamonds, you're never gonna have to worry about rupees again. Now, if you wanna dupe, but you don't wanna play that deep into the game or you can't afford the 1,000 rupees, I also have a location of a sapphire for you. It's right here in the East Akala Plains beside the big gloomy pit. You simply need to take out some bokoblins and a battle talus mini boss, and you'll gain access to a chest containing a sapphire. You can simply duplicate this sapphire a few times, then sell the sapphires to afford a diamond. Okay, so at this point, we are ready for our duplication glitch. First things first, save your game. In case something goes horribly wrong, you could just reload your save and try again. The only difficult timing thing with this glitch is the pause unpause that we have to perform. We have to press the plus button to get out of the menu, then immediately press it again before anything on the screen moves. You could also press the B button to back out of the menu and plus to bring it up again. Whatever method you're most comfortable with is fine. The pause on pause is basically instantaneous, but I found that mashing the plus button doesn't work. You actually have to time your button presses. You could practice this before actually performing the glitch, but it's not too difficult to get the timing down and you should be able to perform the glitch with relative ease. Again, if you mess up, simply reload your save and try again. So here's the glitch. All you need is a material you wanna duplicate and two bows in your inventory. Take out your bow with ZR, hit up on the D-pad and equip the item you wanna duplicate to the bow. Now press plus and pull up your menu. Navigate to your bows and drop the bow you currently have equipped. Now equip your second bow. This is where you have to do the pause on pause. If you were to just unpause like normal right now, you'd see the bow you were holding fall out of Link's hands onto the ground. What we wanna do is unpause and pause quick enough that the animation doesn't even happen. If done correctly, you'll be back into your menu. Now drop the second bow that you've equipped. Unpause and pick up both off the ground. If done correctly, Navigate to your materials and you should have two diamonds or a second of whatever you decided to duplicate. Let's look at the dupe glitch again a bit quicker. Pull out your bow, attach the item you want to dupe, pause, drop the bow, equip the second bow, 
unpause, pause, drop the second bow, and pick up the two bows. And there you go, we have another diamond. It's really not that bad, and you'll be able to dupe diamond after diamond with ease once you have the muscle memory down and you know exactly what you're doing. And really, that's all there is to it. You could use this dupe for rupees or for duplicates of other rare materials like the dragon parts that now take an eternity to farm. I expect this to get patched out with the very next Tears of the Kingdom patch, whenever that happens. So I say enjoy this now while it's still a thing, because it's not going to last long. Be sure to check out the video description below, I'll update the wording if this method gets patched out. On that note, I'm also currently looking into another reliable rupee farming method that doesn't involve this dupe glitch at all. A more pure rupee farming method, if you will, in preparation for when this one gets patched out in the near future. I should have a video covering that method out very soon. If you like this video and want to see more Tears of the Kingdom guides and content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Look forward to more resource farming videos like this one very soon, but until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.